Iran covers 165 million square hectares of land. 18 million square hectares of the land is under cultivation for agricultural and garden supplies, which constitutes only 14% of Iran's total territory. This is due to some shortcomings faced by most countries in this part of the world. The shortcomings stem from a lack of sufficient fertile land and water, as well as unfavorable weather conditions. Despite all this, Iran has always had a positive view on agriculture. This view has resulted in the production of agricultural supplies with a positive growth rate, and for that matter, it has made Iran self-sufficient in the production of strategic crops. It goes without saying that Iran's climate diversity has been conducive to such growth. Statistics from the Food and Agriculture Organization show that Iran ranks first to 10 in the production of one-third of the world's major crops. This means that the country is the producer of 15 species of garden supplies and 7 species of agricultural products. Meanwhile, Iran ranks third in the world in terms of diversity in garden supplies. Despite the climatic restrictions for agricultural work, Iran has a high ranking compared to other countries in terms of producing unique food products. Among others, the products include saffron, pistachio, caviar, and barberry, as well as berry and pomegranate. These products rank first in the world in terms of production. Iran's apricot and date rank second. Its watermelon, cherry, cantaloupe, apple, and cucumber all rank third. Sheep, hazelnuts, and walnuts rank fourth and fruits like grape, sour cherry, kiwi, tangerine and orange, as well as other products like lentils, tea and honey, rank below 10 among the world countries. Agriculture is more effective than industries in tackling poverty. Thus, investing in this sector and allocating more resources to agricultural activities can help attain the loftiest goals as Iran is trying to achieve sustainable agricultural development. The significant population growth in Iran over the past few decades has made the need to provide food security a strategic objective. In this respect, it's a major policy to use capital equipment in different agricultural areas. This has resulted in an increase in the productivity of the factors of production, including management, workforce and land. Moreover, a surplus has occurred in excess of domestic needs and agricultural exports have grown while all production costs have been covered and there has been appropriate return on investment. In recent years, Iran's agriculture sector has seen diverse investments in water and earth. This includes in-ground irrigation projects, construction of concrete and embankment dams, and optimization of irrigation canals, and investment in the field of natural resources, such as laying the groundwork for ecotourism in different parts of Iran. In the fishery sector, similar efforts have been made, such as the construction of reservoirs for the breeding of warm water and cold water fish and also factories for the production of seafood. Investment in raising livestock and in the field of veterinary medicine. Investment in the field of preserving plants like the establishment of plant pathology clinics. Poison analysis labs 
and poison production complexes, investment in the field of farming, including the development of soil science labs, and centers for the drying of agricultural crops, and also investing in the agricultural transformation sector. Another unique advantage of Iran is that the country is home to 7,500 herbal medicines. In this regard, Iran is one of the most diverse nations on earth and a hub of herbal medicine. Iran also has 11 climate systems out of a total of 13 in the world. 300 days throughout the year are sunny in the country and the difference in temperature between the coldest and the hottest parts of Iran is 40 to 50 degrees centigrade. All this has created the most propitious ecological conditions for the nation so that Iran is now home to over 90% of plant species. As a result, Iran is one of the most talented countries for the creation of medicinal industries and the production of edible medicines and natural makeup products. The development of food industries through the use of optimized production and processing methods calls for large investment. Iran's agricultural sector has attached much importance to the matter. In recent years, Iran has put a lot of effort into investment or executive planning in different industries related to agriculture or gardening, the flour and bread, macaroni and rice pudding industries, the production of barley and food for livestock and poultry, potato, corn, vegetable, and fruit tuna, the refining of edible oils, production of tea, sugar, and hard sugar, and other products related to herbal medicine and the fishery industry. These efforts have been aimed at providing food security, which means producing enough food for the population and making the food accessible to all citizens at any time. Iran's agriculture sector has attained very important objectives in its way towards innovation. The use of new technologies for genetically modified plants has resulted in the production of 10 modified agricultural and garden supplies. If the trend continues, given global climate change and decisive management factors, Iran's agricultural capabilities will further develop in the future. Since ancient times, Iranians have highly regarded agriculture and the passing on of their agricultural experience to the next generation. Many centuries have passed since the publication of the first books on agriculture in Iran. The establishment of the country's agriculture school dates back to 100 years ago. Today, Iranian universities offer programs in agriculture animal husbandry, and food industries in all levels. And each year, thousands of students graduate from these universities. Iran's agricultural sector has significantly developed over the past few decades and new forecasts show that given the principle of sustainability and the protection of Iran's ground and maritime borders, the nation will soon achieve the status of sustainable exports after becoming self-sufficient in the production of agricultural products.